Hello my Soccer Universe to the first review of the first December weekend. Honestly, it will not be all too long. At least that's what I think because I have not seen too many highlights here for uh, Eredivisie and, La and League. Uh, I actually decided to start this one because of that and also because my schedule at the moment is so cramped. Maybe it's not a bad thing. Uh, I did see a game live. That was of course a PSG game because I make myself a hab habit of watching PSG because uh, I want to see what Messi is doing. <laughs> it is as easy as that and then I saw a little bit of the uh, Bordeaux uh, Lyon game as well. This time no Eredivisie uh, but I'm wearing an Eredivisie team. The one who had the best improvement although they all won. Uh, Eredivisie was all wins. And in Liga, yeah, we had quite a few interesting results. Uh, Liga is in many ways a crapshoot. Uh, <laughs> now that PSG is way ahead, the rest of the teams are kind of having a co competition of who is going to mess it up most in a way, uh, especially the big teams. And yeah, we had a few upsets in there and quite a few remarkable results as well. And we'll talk more about these. As usual, we'll start in the Eredivisie. Uh, as I said, nothing really. Everyone won one big. Already on Thursday in the evening, you know, I shot the Liga at the Eredivisie. Uh, we, we, we did a ride in that sweet spot. Yeah, Ajax beat Willem Dwey. 5-0. Uh, what more can I say? PSV, a 4-1 over, over Utrecht. Uh, also a rather convincing. A big win for Vitesse uh, at Cambu. Also 6-1. This probably one of the smaller teams. So you see a lot of lopsided side results. AZ against Sparta. Maybe they can get something going, but I think it will be a tough season for AZ uh, this week. But uh, this year, season, 3-1 uh, over Sparta Rotterdam. And then uh, City Rivals, Feyenoord, a 5-0 destruction for Tuna Sittard. And as I said, I really, really think that Feyenoord has something going at the moment uh, that might look very, very, very positive. Uh, but, you know, with no big uh, games um, the, the, this round, it was always uh, um, low lopsided. I mean, Eredivis is a little bit lopsided towards the top teams. And we have another, we have a big name matchup of the last few seasons between Ajax and Azets come coming up, but I'm not sure how much of a big name matchup it actually will uh, be. So let's uh, see, 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 see about that. As for expected standings, we still have Ajax ahead of PSV against or fair not. Ajax very much too much with PSV and fair not. That's getting tight at the moment. And then Utrecht, AZ, Vitesse and Twente would make the European spots. That takes care of the Netherlands <laughs> and let's move over to league uh, where I think the the big shock or or already came early on Saturday when Brest went to Marseille and beat them 2-1 despite being a goal down at uh, halftime. Um, a favorite penalty and uh, I'm always look a little bit at Brest not only because A I've been there, B I have a colleague from there, but also Roma Fevre is, is openly, um, you know, saying he would like to move to Milan, uh, where Milan actually, you know, they had some in, in injuries, but they're now a little bit put off, so let, uh, let's see what. He scored another goal. They keep up the, the goal-scoring streak. They had a team that have scored in every single game this season. It's pretty, pretty r r remarkable. And then in the 70th minute, uh, Honora uh, gives them the win at Marseille, and that's probably a win that will be long remembered. Uh, little important 2-1 win at Troyes. Lance against PSG, Lance with very special jerseys for uh, St. Barbara, St. Barb's uh, Day, or St. Barbara, of course, uh, you know, honoring the mining tradition around. So I, I, I actually thought that look, looking with the black and the, the little bit hint of a, a red and a little bit of hint of yellow and gold in there. Uh, so it was an interesting shirt. It just had the Puma, like the Italy away shirt. That looked a little a little bit weird and for me Lance is still uh, red and yellow in many ways. In any case, uh, it was quite the interesting game. I thought in the first half PSG had many, many good chances. Uh, most the, the most notable by Messi, who at one point really sees uh, the goal goal, he was looking a completely different direction and takes a shot and it just clips the outside of the of the post. He pushes it a little bit further. It is a it's a brilliant first goal uh, for the game. And also Mbappé, I mean, there were chances for, for, for PSG, but it was very clear that this was a game of a team that is working for each other and a collection of individuals. 
where that are absolutely brilliant. And that was kind of the whole uh, balance of that game. And it really seemed like, and in a way, somewhat dish, I was hoping that the collection uh, will shine, th collective will shine through. And yeah, they get the first goal through for Fana. There was potentially a follow Messi, although I think it's too little to, to, to be called. And then a great shot from outside, and it's 1 0 for loss. And the stadium, everything going nuts. Uh, there were actually good chances for Lars to uh, push for a second goal. However, then, so last 10 15 minutes, they barely got out of their own half anymore. And PSG really made a power play without having too many chances, except then Vinaldo heads one in. Brilliant assist from um, Bappe. The previous chances were all. Uh, you know, all created in a way by Messi, but here Mbappe uh, came in and then the big one in the 95th minute. Free kick at the edge of the box, very central central position, and you know who's gonna be. Yeah, it's Messi for, for the win. It goes over the bar. I think it hit a little bit the, the wall as well. So yeah, Messi still trying to find his footy, but I actually think he's getting better there. So uh, slowly... We'll see some something, but uh, um, to me, PSG is also kind of you're watching it before for the catastrophe to happen because sooner or later it will turn out not so good. I have a feeling. I mean, they are the new Galacticos in many, many ways. Um, of the Sunday results, ran 5 0 over Sasa San Santien in Saturday. This is a place where you know PSG had a little bit trouble, ran go there. Blah. Uh, just roll, roll over. Pretty impressive stuff. Uh, not win a Breton Derby. Monaco get a win over last place Mets. Uh, are, they, are they still last place? Let's see. No, not last place because now it's uh, Tatien. Um, second, 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 and then another uh, shocker in, in a way that Strasbourg go to Nice and win their 3 0. Uh, that also came a little bit out, out, out of the blue, and I think Nice is taking a little bit of no stuff. They started really well in, into the season and doesn't really look great at the moment. And then uh, the evening game I saw, uh, I joined it when it was 2-1 for Lyon. I watched uh, actually NFL. Um, Lyon twice took a lead through Denayer, Mendes uh, had, had an ongoing in, in between. And then uh, right upon the hour, hour mark, uh, Elis uh, scores the equalizer. And then it was kind of a lively game, slight um, advantage for Lyon. And, and you know, everyone, Paqueta is great. Every, every, everyone, when I hear the broadcast, everyone's raving about this. Data. But the Lyon team doesn't get anything going. They're a really, really average team despite having some brilliant players in there. And that's down to the coach, as usual. So yeah, uh, we have next weekend a pretty interesting matchup between PSG and Monaco. Another one of those, <laughs> we'll see. And also Lille and Lyon are playing. So the top four of last, last season play each other. However, they will most likely not no, be top four of this, uh, this season. And I would say uh, Rennes against Nice could also be interesting. And not against Lens, I don't know why, but that looks also like an interesting one. Uh, as I said, expect Pakistan against PSG, top, 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 top. Of course, uh, and even in the, in, in, in the regular season, and now Rennes is still back in second place. Uh, ahead of Marseille, Monaco, Lille, and then Lyon. That was it for me. Yeah, well, it went longer with it than I thought it will be. In any case, uh, please add anything you want on in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell. So in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.